Hello everyone and welcome to Time Traveler's Coin Exchange. I'll be filling in for my dad tonight. Uh, he couldn't make it, but uh, we're still gonna have a show. Um, here we have a, I have a one bag of 50 mint cellos. Um, they're all 1994 uh, peas. Uh, they're all Lincoln Memorial cents. So I will dump these out. Hello Logan, welcome. How are you doing tonight? So I've got about uh, 10 of these. Uh, I think we have looked at three of them now. Uh, I think we looked at a 91P, a 91D, and a 94D. Uh, so tonight we're gonna look at a 94P. Uh, pretty much we're just, uh, I bought these uh, off of eBay uh, from a seller with a huge amount of feedback uh, and just wanted to kind of see what his wares were like. Uh, in the future, I'm going to be doing bulk grading, and uh, so I'm trying to train my eye. Uh, that's one of the reasons I'm looking at all these, uh, just trying to get better at my mint cello x-ray vision. And uh, the goal is to, um, you know, we're not going to cherry pick from these. These are actually going to go right back up on eBay um, and put them right back up as an eBay listing here. So every coin that's in the roll is going to be in the roll because I'm making this video so that I can resell them. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to check them out, see what they're like. And then in the future, if that we uh, like what we see in these rolls, uh, we can purchase from this seller again in the future. Not that every roll is the same, but we'll have a pretty good idea of what they have on average for sale. Uh, so far, the coins have been pretty good. Uh, the other three rolls I was pretty happy with. Um, you know, granted these are only 26 years old, uh, while some of the rolls we were looking at were like 75 plus. Um, so, you know, the older the mint cello, the more time there has been that it could be damaged or just environment can set in on the coins. It's like even, I think the 1994Ds we were looking at last night, uh, there was even like little bits of like, kind of like spotting or toning happening on, on some of the coins. Not many, fortunately. Most of the coins are really pretty clean. I'd say most of them are like uh, MS64 to MS65s with a couple 66s. And maybe it seems like there's like a couple 66s, maybe a 67 in them. Hello. Are you talking to Logan? Uh, welcome coin collecting with Tyler. Oh yeah, you guys were asking for a hint. Uh, so I did do a hint. Um, if you guys check out the community post um, that I did today, I did do a hint for uh, the GAW number five uh, from May 24th. I believe it was, uh, I believe that one is for the flying eagle scent and the quarter and the Indian head scent. Uh, but if you guys uh, check out the community page, uh, there is a hint on it and it narrows down uh, the amount of videos that you would have to look through. Um, if you guys beg me since I posted it, I can give you guys the hint here on the show. Uh, but you guys were saying it was too hard and that I should narrow things down. Um, so there is now I have narrowed things down. I'll give you a hint on here, but it's a bigger hint if you go to the community post, which is very brief. I've narrowed it down to a month of videos. Um, so you guys, it's way more possible to go through a month of videos than to go through everything from last August. However, there are four other scavenger hunt prizes uh, still available. Um, and speaking of, I think I'm just like a few hours shy of putting like another $10 scavenger hunt. I know, um, Tyler, you were saying, you know, you can't accept the cash funds. You guys setting up a Discord channel? That's pretty cool. Actually, I have a Discord channel. I totally forgot about that. I'm trying to even remember why I got it. Oh yes, when I was uh, when I used to stream uh, playing games, I set up the Discord, and uh, it worked. <laughs> I would totally forget it was on. I would like. Uh, I'd go on break on the game and then I'd like leave it going so you could hear everything I was doing. You couldn't see everything, but you could still hear on the Discord. 
It's kind of funny. It's just like, you know, you, you mute this, mute that, and you forget. Yes, I put a clue uh, on the community page. There is a clue for uh, the scavenger hunt number five, um, or like the pound five one that I did for on the twenty fourth. And so, if you guys, if you guys were trying to get the flying eagle one, uh, I believe that is the one with the flying eagle for a prize. It narrowed things down to just a month, but you'll have to check out the community post to see which month. And I didn't even check it out. I'm not sure if it's one, you know, some, some months I made more than others. I think if I had done, um, like, like, cause there, I didn't make videos for like six weeks or so. Um, you know, I was pretty much AWOL for six, seven weeks there, like kind of the end of the March till April. I almost wonder if I even, I think I didn't even get to start making videos till the very end of April again, just um, you know, this whole, <laughs> the whole changing of the world thing, just kind of, I had to uh, get a new schedule and get things figured out here. Okay, well, I'll tell you guys the clue so you guys don't have to leave here. Um, I already posted it, and that was just the important part of making it fair for people. Um, so the clue is, uh, it was, uh, it's in a video from February 2020. Um, and so instead of there being eight, nine months of video for you guys to go through, um, I've narrowed it down to one month there for you guys. Um, and it's not to say I didn't even check to see what months the other videos, what the other clues or other phrases were, but there's possible there is more than one phrase within the February two. So definitely keep your ears ready for any of them. But I didn't, I didn't go to check, um, but I can't confirm that there isn't a second one just give you guys the heads up on that because you guys could win too. Okay, you found the clue. Cool. And basically, if nobody is finding the scavenger hunts, I will keep posting some clues, narrowing things down. I honestly, I thought there were going to be more people. Um, I thought there was going to be more people searching, but apparently people calculated in their heads and they said no nope, this is too hard I, I want something with better odds I want to play lottery tickets <laughs> and you know that's fair but I guess I was just you know trying to put them up there but uh, I'm going to continue to put cash prizes up like I like I said I was I just uh we're, I'm still trying to hit the next um I think 1700 watch hours was the next ten dollar prize and then I've just had enough stuff. Like I have more coins that I'm gonna post for scavenger art prizes. I just, I've only had enough time to make videos of the stuff, you know, do, I mean, I guess I could not stream one night and just make scavenger hunt prizes, but it seems like people like the stream. So um, as soon as I have enough time to do both and make my, you know, the PCGS videos that I make, that's what I do for work, that's my living. Um, and so those are always the priority. Uh, but past like nine o'clock, there's no reason I should be posting stuff past nine o'clock on eBay. Um, so I just save stuff for the next day. I, that's when I stop working. Um, and so if you guys would rather I do more scavenger hunts and don't do stream, I can uh, do it that way. But in the future, I will have more time. You know, if life ever goes back to normal, <laughs> What is normal, you guys say? It's that distant thing that you don't quite remember anymore. If things ever do go back to normal, I'll be at a stream lots more for you guys again. Um, I'd like to say this is just temporary the way things are, but um, temporary as far as I can calculate in my head could be as long as three years. Um, you know, and that's in like, that's like in a really, really good model in my brain that's like assuming that everything goes like perfect. I could say like two and a half years if everything goes perfect. I would say like I'd be proud of the world if they figure it out in three years. But the way that everything else is to, uh, like turning into chaos, I almost don't expect there to be a future at this point. So 
uh, having fun making coin videos while I can for you guys. What a nice little spot this one's got. It'll make the rest of them all look better tonight. I'm going to need to stop notifications because I use this computer over here for chat and it's just like every time I look over um, the, my Instagram things, they like fill the screen. Um, I've been really impressed with Instagram. Like, you know, I've been working on YouTube on this video, like um, this channel here for since August. And um, I just joined Instagram like a couple weeks ago. I was just like, yeah, I should do it. And like my Instagram over there is growing faster than, you know, it's like it, it's, it's growing a lot faster. I, I'm like really, really hopeful for the Instagram. Like I'm not trying to grow it. I'm just posting stuff there and people are following and people are like liking everything. Like I had to like take it off my phone and put it on a computer. Um, because it's just like, 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 and I think some people like, you know, they, they like getting the like, 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 you know, it makes them feel happy. And I'm not saying I don't like the hearts. It's just, um, it takes, it takes more of my time to like, you know, like close them. than you know, it's just, it's distracting for me. I, I want to work. I want to, I want to make more, I want to make more videos. You know, I can't tell if the mix is working. I can't tell if the Pinterest, you know, the other, they seem like odd things to do. Um, but I figure if even if they just bring in a couple people, that's worth it. Um, so if anyone's ever watching this video and you came from mix or Pinterest, um, let me know. Um, just because I'm curious because like Twitter, I definitely seem I have like met people now who have come in through Twitter. I've met people who have come in through Instagram. Um, I'm not sure if I've met anyone directly from Blogger or Tumblr. Um, I, I have those ones going now too. It's, you know, by the time I'm making a video and posting everything, I might as well post it to one or two more. It's just a few clicks. Um, so I've, it's just been interesting experimenting because like social media has never been my big, big thing. You know, I'd rather like work hard, but um, I've learned by the time you work hard a lot, you should really promote yourself. You should spend as much time promoting yourself um, as you spend working. Maybe even promoting yourself more. Um, I mean, it's just it's weird. It's something I never ever did. I, f I felt like it was bragging or ego, but as like I feel like that's the one thing YouTube has taught me here is that you can make. A thousand videos literally I did you can make 2,000 videos literally I did I think I made about 1,500 videos before I started looking around here on YouTube and checking out what other people do and checking out who they are and making friends and like learning and then I found out about networking and stuff and it's golden <laughs> you know like you if you guys aren't going out and meeting more people which I know you Logan I know um, I know you have. Uh, welcome, Greeny. Uh, this is looking at a roll of, uh, I already have them pretty much out here, but uh, it's, <laughs> it looks like a little bag of something. Uh, these are, uh, these are from Mint Sets. Uh, the Mint releases, um, you know, examples of like pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, and half dollars all in a set. Uh, and these are all the mint cellos of the penny that, that they've all been cut out of the set. Uh, and I buy, I buy them by the roll. And so they're kind of better than average um, business strike coins. And so basically we're just looking through these. I'm trying to build up, um, you know, train my eyes to be able to spot really good coins. Most of these are kind of like MS64 to MS65 with a couple being higher. Um, the key is really to be able to, you know, look through bulk coins like this and be able to identify the MS67s or MS68s if you're lucky enough to find them. Uh, and, you know, be able to collect a bunch of those and then get them graded and get them bulk graded so it's affordable. Sorry about that. Um, you can make money. And, you know, there's a bunch of people on here. We talk about all... All different things about coins um, it's not necessarily just about what we're looking at um, so if you have any questions uh, feel free
but yeah, I've definitely been exploring the social media and it's, to me, it's just interesting too, because Instagram, um, it does like, uh, I'm, I post stuff through my computer and I guess, you know, it's, it's a phone app. It, you know, you're supposed to do it on your phone. And so I figured out how to be able to post pictures from my computer. Uh, but I haven't actually figured out how to, uh, post videos. I don't know if my videos are too long. Um, which was actually the problem for YouTube. I had to make my videos longer. I would just, originally I did like 15 seconds of the front and back, but then it was like, no, you need longer if you want to do other things. Um, so I made them longer. Um, but it's interesting because I only post a picture of the coin, you know, just a flat image like that, and Instagram is doing awesome. Um, and, you know, I would like to be posting, you know, the full videos when I'm making a PCGS graded coin video of the front and back of the coin because um, it just seems like it works well on YouTube here and I feel like if I did it on uh, Instagram if people are liking just the photo I think that they would really like uh, just the short video too so it seems like these rolls of 50 um, it, they kind of since it seems like they go faster than, you know, a coin vault has opened or looking at other things because uh, for the most part, we're looking at the same coin over and over and over and over again. So it's like, I know what I'm looking for. Um, so I'm very well, my, I have six more of these rolls, different dates um, and different mints. And so I'll probably, after this stream is over, I'll probably do a second roll tonight just because I'm trying to get through them so that I can get on to the next project here. Um, but I have so many more coins to show you guys. Like I bought so many coins during the six, seven weeks I couldn't make videos. And I finally got caught up with the slabbed videos. Like I had bought like four or 500, like, like Lincoln proof, like early wheats and uh, early memorial proofs. Like I just pretty much bought, I, it looked like I have over a third of the proof Lincoln Wheat Sense created by PCGS on eBay now. And I don't even have all, like I did a second wave and so I have a bunch more coming in. So it's kind of been interesting. I haven't seen Andrew on here for a couple nights, but um, I definitely noticed he had bought up a bunch of the proofs as well. Um, it seems like we've pretty much bought everything up to at cost, and I was even pushing stuff above cost. Um, so the price of like Lincoln wheat, like early Lincoln wheats, has really gone up now. I didn't even realize that I had over a quarter of the market before we were like, we should buy up the market. Um, and I've also been, you know, one of my old loves, uh, like raw flying eagle scents. I put like two, three hundred bids on like flying. I just like bid on everything. I didn't quite get to finish bidding on everything, but I almost bid on everything. So I'm thinking about maybe, maybe trying to like buy all those up again. I tried once before and just the more I bought, the more came out of the woodwork. And so I'm a little bit wary just because it's harder to sell raw coins, especially like heavily circulated raw coins. Um, but I think my plan for them, and instead of like trying to like list them all individually, I'm just going to be doing what I do. Uh, and, you know, I'll, once I get 50 of them, I'll put them up in a 50 coin bulk lot. We'll look at a roll of Flying Eagle Scents because it's just, you can't buy Flying Eagle Scents anywhere else. Or it rolls of Flying Eagle Scents. You can buy Flying Eagle Scents, but no one else sells them by 50 that I know of. Um, if you guys ever want them by the 100, let me know. We can do that too. Um, but yeah, I definitely have quite a few more rolls to sell and I'm thinking I will start making more rolls of those um, just because it's fun to do. At one point I had a bank bag, but it was never in the form of a bank bag. Um, it was all flipped out. It's strange though, like one thing I've never bought bulk I've never bought bulk Indian head scents. Andrew was asking about those, and um, it's just not something I've ever done. I 
you can't find, you gotta look, you gotta look to find. If you don't watch all the videos, you can't find it, but you do. No, that's, that's what I say, it's not the coin. Well, the coin itself probably does too, but you must just be looking at like the, the picture of the front or something. It's just, you, you watch a video and if you hear me say that phrase, um, if you hear me say those exact words in a sentence, um, that's, that's the video. I mean, I don't know, like that, that was the idea for the scavenger hunt anyway. I mean, yes, I could just do, I mean, the, like I would do giveaways if I had like, if I had like 30, 40 people, you know, coming and showing up to every stream, I could like do giveaways like every stream. Um, but for the most part, I usually only have like five or six people in the stream. Um, and I don't know, I would just be giving it to the same people every time and I, I want to spread it out to everybody. Like I want it, I want it to be, you know, somewhat of a challenge or whatnot. I don't want the same, like with the last scavenger hunt I did, it was Jason winning every time. I know Jason was psyched. Uh, I was psyched for Jason, but it's like, you know, I want different people to win. one here looks pretty nice. Let's take another look at the reverse. I think there's a little scratch in the bottom field, but it's not a bad one. Like this one looks like at least a 66. There's like probably something on the rim that I can't see in the silo here. But I don't know, this one looks like a 66, possibly a 67. Like a 1994 67 always sells really good for me. What do, I know, what does that mean? Um, well, I must have been talking about something when like hysteria was going on. It's a... This is not the best one in the bunch. Definitely made the, makes the last one look a lot nicer. Well, that's the thing. I keep finding um, I keep finding uh, Lincolns with like doubled columns. And then I was trying to like find, you know, I was like, this looks like a DDR to me. And I was trying to find it. I found them in the 1960, 1960, I think 1960 proofs. I found it quite a couple with like doubled in the columns. And then in the 1994D one last night, I think that there was, or maybe it was the 1991, there was doubled, doubled columns. I was like, what's going on? Like, is this rare or is this just like, like I found a couple, it wasn't on every one, but it's like, I would try to look it up. I'd go on copper coins. I'd like go and like, you know, look at all the variety sites. And I couldn't find it. Is it just the, hey, Super Silverman. Sorry, I thought, I didn't even realize that was you saying that. Welcome. Are there any other dates or is it just 1994P? Because I was finding ones with like pillar, like I even know three of the coins right off my head where they are. Um, is, is this the box or no? Okay, it's the other box. I was gonna, I was gonna grab one out of here. It's in the other box I already put away. I would definitely keep my head up, or I'd definitely keep my eyes out.
swipe up to 400 times. Okay, I will definitely keep my eye out. This is my first time looking at these ones here, so anything is possible. And if there's any that like kind of look iffy, uh, we'll put them on the side. <laughs> I think this one just has a reflection. It totally looks like there's like an extra column on there. I'll put that one to the side, but I, I'm pretty sure it's pretty. The first video from February is a coin video of 1803. Nice. Well, I'll. I'll tell you, I don't think that that is the one. <laughs> I, th I think it's it's been like a week now that I'm like, wait, do I even remember which <laughs> which uh, uh, which video um, it's in? Yeah, it's like it totally messes with me, like. Like I'm looking at these and it's like I totally like keep feeling like oh I'm seeing it but it's just there's like a reflection. It looks like you know like the two columns to the to the left of Lincoln there they all look like they're doubled. Thank you. I appreciate it, friend. How have things been going for you? Maybe we'll find a really nice high grade one with a DVR. It's like part of me when I make these videos, I don't know if I should like you know, zoom in on all the places where there could be a, a DDR, like, you know, because this will go up as a video on eBay. Um, and if somebody can see there are no DDRs, if they're looking for a DDR, then they wouldn't want to search the role. But uh, I guess that's cool, though, because, um, it, you know, whether somebody buys it or watches it, um, if someone watches it to see there's no DDRs in it, that works for me. Um, like I want people to be yeah it's like I want people to be able to like you know cherry pick or like practice cherry pick picking while on their couch I think that's pretty cool it's like I want to make you know buying these things sight unseen easier like if you know somebody watches the video and they see value in it then awesome let them buy it and if they don't let someone else buy it Oh, it's doubled in different directions. Yeah, I've definitely seen it. Like, um, I've definitely, I think on Copper Coins, maybe he, he had some extra bars. Like, I feel like, so it's on the far right on this side. And then there'll be, like, a partial doubling sometimes in the other one as well. Like, to the left of the far right. Second to the far right. It definitely couldn't hurt to just check them all out. Like if I don't see one when we're checking out the coins, I can maybe do like a speed round and go through. It's just, it's interesting. Like it definitely like, um, it reflects what looks like an extra bar in these when I like put the light on it. These ones are like struck a lot better than the 1994 D's we were looking at. The D's we were looking at last night, like there was like so much zinc showing on them. They were just like pounded. 
it was like intense like I was like seeing stuff that looked so doubled but it was just like they were pounded so hard that there was um like the like the zinc showing through but it would like look like a shadow of like a doubling okay the the really common ones like the doubling goes to the other side let's find two of them tonight shall we how i guess i like should ask like if there's like a high population like or if they're just like a really 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 rare one uh, but these these Mancellas, like to me, they look like way higher quality than most of the ones, most of the Mancellas I've done for you guys. I've definitely been impressed. I'm thinking maybe we should just, at the end of the show, uh, just zoom in because if there is doubling it'll probably be way easier to tell and does it only happen on the right side or can it happen on the left side too No, it's like um, you're, you're saying that in, in between the two columns here on the right side um, that there is a partial column, like kind of like a line going in between the column, right? Or at least that's what I thought I had seen. I, I know on Copper Coins anyway there was one I remember how, like, that was the reason why when I found, like, the double columns, I was like, wait, is this a double die? What's going on? Like, it was, the ones that I found, it was, like, where my finger is, it was this last column had a full column down, and then this one here had a half a column. Um, and I found two of them. Um, no, three of them like that. Um... And, but then I went to try to find information on it. It was uh, 1960, um, and I couldn't find any information on it. It just seemed weird, like, because I was like, okay, if, like, 3 out of 20 that I looked at had this, I would think it would be, like, a known variety. <laughs> Maybe in a second I can like, so it's a 1994P uh, DDR. I can Google it up. Yeah, I, I believe it was one and a half. Um, it was like one was like fully, like a fully formed extra line. Uh, and then the other one was um, like, it was only like half the column. And so I figured it was just some, some sort of machine damage because it's like, I always find these coins that look really cool that it's like, wow, look at that doubling. And um, then I try to find out information on it and there's no information on it. That's what I was just talking about before you came. I just got an Instagram account. Um, it's actually, there's a link to it on my About Me page, I think, um, I believe. It is the same name as here, just without any spaces, Time Travelers Coin Exchange. And I'd be happy to, uh, to follow and check you out. 
yeah, I just got it two weeks ago, and I've been amazed at how fast it has grown. Like, I've already, I think I already have a couple hundred followers on it. Um, and I, but I haven't been trying to get anyone. People just, I've been posting photos instead of videos, just like, and it's been working. I've been like, wow. Um, yes, I still have the three coins. Um, I think actually one of them sold. Um, I think it sold, but it, they haven't paid for it. And I just, after I found three out of like looking at 20, I was just like, mm, this is probably <laughs> just common. Um, I noticed too on, the, on that one, the, the steps on the coin, like the very bottom of the steps are like wrecked. <laughs> Like, it looks like somebody took a bowling ball or a shot put and just bowled it right into the steps and just, like, took out big triangle things. But it's, like, there's, like, I don't know, like, I don't know if that's common for the 1960s to, like, have, like, really damaged steps. But was, they were really nice coins. They were, you know, they were graded and whatnot. But then, like, the, like, one thing that probably brought it, you know, down to an MS-66 was the steps. thinking we'll look at the rest of these maybe I can do like a quick thing where we just uh, I have things zoomed in here and uh, we can look at the look at the last column there you know just check out the reverse and just look through them quickly and then maybe I can find that coin quick I just don't know if I got shuffled around It would be real easy if it was just the one right in front of me, but I think things got moved around today. of Instagram my entire page over there is like filled up again I need to turn my notifications off on that computer I turned it off on my phone and then all of a sudden they started going to the computer and then every time I look over that computer to like read what you guys are saying all I see is like Instagram hearts and I'm like what what is going on it's madness I tell you Instagram madness I guess I should appreciate those hearts. One day they may be gone. I should not take them for granted. Alrighty, so that was, that was all of them there. We'll turn on the light, we'll zoom in, we'll check out the See if we can find ourselves a sweet DDR. Hello. One down. Can't be doing that on people. Look, I only received 59 coins. <laughs> Let's see if this... I probably don't actually have to be all the way. We'll see if this works. Oh, I remember why though. That's why I... Oog. Yeah, see it's totally gonna look like there's something there. But I guess if there is something there, it'll be obvious.
It's like these are just shiny. They totally look like there is an extra column there. I don't know. Do you think that I should um, zoom out a little bit? Because it's like, I mean, may, it, maybe it'll just totally look different. But it like to me, it totally looks like there is an extra line of column right there. Hilarious. Yeah, it's just a roll of them. Um, everyone has it. Okay, it's going to be a dead center in the column. Okay. I can relax now then. see people doing this all day long looking for the one have you ever found one uh, super silverman I guess they can't be, you know, I guess like the chances of finding one in a roll of 50 is probably not that good. Otherwise, they wouldn't be worth a ton of money. <laughs> you do this all day long with proof sets. Nice. And what's the, what's the most valuable coin that you found doing this all day with proof sets? And how often do you, if you're looking at proof sets all day long, how often do you actually find something um, that makes it worth it? Does it just take finding something once or twice a month to make it worth it? Or is it just a, like kind of a hobby thing, like you, you already bought the coins and you're just looking for looking for something within what you have? something tonight everybody let's do it I can see what other rolls I have I want to say I have a 95 I can almost see what there I want to say I have a 95 PND and a 99 PND and maybe it's like a 98 PND. Nice. With the five on the cheek, nice. I found something, I found a coin once that it had like a one, like right in front of Lincoln's nose. Have you ever seen that one? But it's like, the thing is, I don't know where it is. Um, but there's just like a, like a normal size one right in front of Lincoln's nose. And like, I haven't seen one since then. Nice. <laughs> Sounds like a nice $6 investment. Yes. Yeah, Special mint sets are like playing the lottery. Government money should be illegal. 
It's like you buy a mint set and it could be worth nothing or it could be worth five thousand dollars. But it's okay because the government does it. Yeah, I gotta find it. And the, the problem is it's not one of those places I normally look for like, you know, something like, I just recently, because everyone else I see like checks the eye for like a double die. You know, it's like occasionally I will just check the, the eye area. And so it's like, you know, if I'm drifting with the microscope right by it at the right time, then it would be possible. There's a little little spot there. The problem is it's like I'd find in the past I'd find all these cool coins and then it would be time to move and everything would just get like packed up. Some things would get flipped, some stuff would get put in tubes and well, that one was way scratched up. That was like from a totally different group than the rest of the mint sellers. Uh, but everything would get mixed up. I was so happy to find my, you know, Pinocchio and one with devil horns. You found a phrase. Way to go, Logan. I will have to check it out. Don't forget to leave it in the comment and don't forget to leave the time timestamp. Was it the one from February, friend? one you found, Logan? Did you find the one with the flying eagle? So uh, when we're done looking at these 50 uh, Super Silverman, I will see if uh, the 1961 is close by. And if, if it is, um, I will pop it out. Um, but I don't want to make you guys wait uh, too long. So if it's not right where it should be, um, I might have to save it for the next show. Well, if you found, if you found that one, do go and leave a comment because to, to win, you got to leave, you got to leave the, the name of the video and the time in the video, you know, roughly within 30 seconds of where you found it uh, to win the prize. I'm hoping he did. Because these things are, these prizes are just sitting on my desk. And um, it sure would be cool. But it would be funny because isn't that a different one? Is that the one that I gave a clue to? No. <laughs> so you just found one of the other ones that I didn't give the clue to? That'd be hilarious. I'd be happy because then there's a chance that two of them will be found here pretty soon. Silverman is looking like we're run, running out of columns to look into here. I think we've got about five more coins, but this will be 50. 50 Mancellos you will not have to look through to find them. I think there's a small war going on somewhere. 
It's the same gunfire going on out. That's like 200 plus rounds. Jeez, can you guys hear that? My microphone usually picks up everything. <laughs> Sorry, really, really distracting. Freaky. I can actually see Lincoln really good there. It's like, he's totally like just floating there. Awesome. Okay, good, it stopped. That was like a minute. Jeepers. All right, one more. I'll see if I can find that 1960 for you, Super Silverman. Uh, give me one minute. If I can do it in a minute, I'll do it. I think I found them, so we'll see. We'll see how well my memory is. I found the box, but okay. I believe it was all three. Watch it'll just be like the normal double in. Um, so that's what I was seeing on the other one. And on the inside. Hold on, let me let me check out the other two because maybe it was just two of them. I'm thinking it's just the inside. Sorry, Super Silverman. I think. I thought it, I really thought it was one of the outside ones. Hold on, I got one more. But where's the half column I was talking about? Wow, look how like beat up that one is. But yeah, where's the half column? I know that these are the ones that I was looking at. catch up with what you guys were saying. The mini Y in the memorial building.
I think I think I must have been staring under the loop too long, so I over it because I know those were the coins. Before before you deal another mint solo show, go to Variety Vista. Okay, it's not a bad idea. Especially, I think you were the one suggesting that I like sort out the other stuff and do just that. Go through solid date. Okay, uh, Logan, did you put a, did you comment it yet? Did you already claim it? Second check. See what I, what I, it's like what I really need is like, you know, when I, I can verify it like, ouch, on the spot. Maybe you have. I'm just trying to comment on the third one. Do, 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 do. Hold on, it's I don't think it's the one that I have written down, but uh, it doesn't mean that it is not. Uh, the right one so I'll, I'll have to go and watch and check it looks like that is a short one uh, so it doesn't look like it should be that hard to do um, and I, I mean it's like was that the I think you had said a thumbtack one Um, yeah, Super Silverman, I did a, a box of 1954 S as well, all graded by PCGS, and that one was really cool. Um, there was some really interesting coins in that box. Um, like, basically every one either had, like, a die chip on it or, like, just something, like, some massive, like, one that looked like some really cool RPM or something, I think. Like, two, I think, that had what looked like an RPM, and then they had a die chip on the back and they were like matching dies. Um, and yes, Logan, I will uh, verify after this, I will go, like I know you provided the link there. Um, if you, I guess I didn't check to see, I didn't check to see if you also Um, but definitely make sure to paste uh, the name of the video and the time in the video on um, on that one uh, so that I can check it. I do see that you sent a link to it, and if that does, but you'll still need to like paste it, paste it onto the other one to win, just so that other people can see that somebody found it. Um, hold on, I'm lost here. Um, I believe it was like a month ago. Um, here, super seven when I can see if I can, I think it was, um, PCGS box. I'm just gonna see if I can type and search it. I think it was like PCGS box 1954S. Does that bring it up? It's not. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Um, hmm. I don't quite remember. I know it was nineteen fifty four S and um. Maybe I can try just box in 1954S. Maybe I need to not be on the main YouTube. Normally I can find my videos on here. Um, but it but it was the whole box of them. And I'm just seeing tons of 1954S's. 
seen a lot of my videos. I mean, I did all of them individually too. That's what I was trying to do. Or just time traveler exchange. And then that's bringing up everything, me. Uh, it was within the last month and a half that I did it, uh, Super Silverman. Uh, but hey, uh, since you guys seem to be watching, or let me let me see if there's any dates you want. Guess while I have you here, and if you're interested, uh, Super Silverman. So I have a 95 P and D here ready. I have a 99 P and D. And I have a 98 PMD. Uh, I was going to do, I mean, what, 1995, that has double die, right? I'm guessing that there's not going to be a double die, but they, I think they were, did end up being pretty common. <laughs> it was the first thing that popped it up for you. Sometimes it doesn't show me my videos, which is like, but it's also now that I have like four thousand videos, like my P my YouTube page, like it like dies, and so I just use YouTube to search my videos. But uh, I was gonna keep going in chronological order here, um, so 1995 P was gonna be the next one. I could have another stream going here in about five minutes uh, if you guys want to look at a 1995 P. And uh, I'll try to see if I can uh, check out Logan's uh, Logan's claim to the prize as well. And uh, hopefully we will have a winner tonight because that scavenger hunt's been up for a week. It's too long. So I'll end the stream here and uh, I'll be back up by 1010. If I'm able to get up quicker than that, I will. Uh, so see you guys in a few minutes. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the future.